Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the pile foundation. In this lecture, we are going to discuss in detail the pile foundation. That when we have to use the pile foundation and why we are using the pile foundation. And what are the different materials that can be used in the construction of pile foundation. Basically, there are two main types of the foundation. One is called the shallow foundation. shallow foundation and the other one is the deep foundation the difference between them is their depth ratio the basically the depth of the foundation is lower in the case of the shallow foundation that's why it's called as the shallow foundation while the depth of the foundation is too much higher as compared to the shallow foundation that's why we categorize this type of foundation as the deep foundation and the pile foundation is coming under the category of deep foundation because the depth of the pile foundation is too much higher as compared to its other dimension now how to categorize that this one that this because that this foundation is either a deep foundation or a shell foundation or a pile foundation so to differentiate that this is my pile foundation so let's consider that this is the width this is the breadth of my pile we represent by B and this is depth of my pile represented by D and this is any pile constructed below the ground level so if the depth if the depth of pile is greater than the three times of the breadth of your pile then we call that this foundation now is called as the pile foundation you cannot call it a simple other type of foundation like shell foundation isolated column or something like this but now you should call it that this foundation is called is the pile foundation when it satisfies this criteria that your depth is greater than the three times of your breadth of your pile then this foundation is known as the pile foundation the material that can be used in this pile pile are different like for example they are can be concrete used in this pile either the pile can be made of steel Either the pile can be made of both of steel and concrete we call as composite pile or the pile may be of wood pile but this is not most commonly used. The most commonly used part is of the concrete pile. So after a short introduction of the pile foundation now I can define the pile foundation is a kind of deep foundation which is used to support the superstructure load and transfer the load either by in bearing phenomena or by skin friction phenomena. So what is the in-bearing phenomena and skin friction phenomena that are used to take the load from the superstructure. So let's consider that this is in a pile and this is in a load acting on this pile from the superstructure. The superstructure may be a skyscraper building or simply a multi-story building or maybe a bridge. So when the load acting on this the pile, it resists the load by two methods. We call is the one is called the in-bearing pile. In bearing pile the second one is called the skin friction pile so these are basically the two types of the pile one is called in bearing pile and one is called the skin friction pile and both have the different reactions for example if I say that my pile is a in bearing pile so and this it means that my whole load of you of superstructure is being laid on this pile at the end of this pile the whole take load is taken by the pile at this tip and this tip is laid on a strong side or a stiff side or we can see it on a stiff side or a rock which which is high stiffness because your all load now will be taken by this at the bottom of your pile this is why it's called is the in bearing pile because the whole load is coming at this end of the pile and this end is responsible to take the load and this will be resistance in upper direction so this type of the pile foundation will be called is the in pile in bearing pile while the other one is called the skin friction in case of the skin friction the load is not taken by the in this at the end of the pile but the load is taken by the side at the the side which is an interaction with the pile this is usually taken the load so we can see that the skin friction piles are those type of piles which take the load 
by the frictional forces between the soil and the pile. There's a friction forces between this soil here and this pile here. So these friction forces are responsible to take the load of the superstructure. I can explain this in more detail way. Like for example, this is in the pile and this is soil. You see here, this is always soil and this is pile. So when the load acts on this type of pile, which is a skin friction pile, so the soil, the soil becomes active and it resists the load by the friction by the friction between the pile and the soil. So this friction between the pile and soil is providing the resistance to the upcoming load. That's why we call is this type of the pile is known as the skin friction pile. So basically the loads are resisted by two ways. Either your pile will be in bearing pile in which the whole load is taken by this stiff soil either by skin friction in which the load is taken by the friction forces between the soil and Pile. In the case of this skin friction, your soil should must be a stiff soil, a stiff clay, they are mostly stiff clay or sandy soil. Sandy soil. So these both are mostly used for the skin friction pile. Now to explain the pile foundation in a more practical way. So let's consider this is any superstructure which is above the ground level and these are different piles which are constructed to take the load of the superstructure. This superstructure load may be of bridges, may be of skyscrapers are in a multi-story building so by providing the piles here this load from superstructure will be evenly distributed among all these piles among all these piles and these all piles work together to resist this upcoming load either by in pairing phenomena or, or by skin friction phenomena so this is the general overview of pile foundation now what when we have to use the pile foundation this is the main question and i will discuss now now in this part i will explain that when we have to use the pile foundation is the pile foundation are not economical type of foundation but still we are using this type of foundation due to some reasons so the first reason is that the top side has a poor bearing capacity when the top side has a poor bearing capacity then we should provide the pile foundation as a solution for our transferring the load from the superstructure to the piles the second one is the when the groundwater table is too high. This is the most important one that when the high groundwater table is there, you cannot provide the shallow foundation. You must have to provide the pile foundation. And the third one is the heavy and non-uniform load from superstructure. When there is a heavy load acting uh, um, on the on your ground level and, and the soil is not going to take this load, either it is not possible from the shallow foundation. So what we are doing for this heavy load, we must provide the pile foundation like as you see in the case of the skyscrapers like the buildings that are more than 200 meters uh, they must construct it with the pile foundation because pile foundation can provide a huge bearing capacity the fourth one is other type foundation are not feasible of course when the other type foundation are not feasible due to some reason then you must have to provide then you must have to switch to the pile foundation the fifth one is when there is a canal or deep drainage system near your structure. When there is some drainage system or canal system which may affect your structure later on, so you have to provide the pile foundation to avoid this uh, water coming from this canal maybe in the future. So that's why it's better to use pile foundation when there is a canal or deep drainage near your structure. The sixth and the last one is when there is a possibility of scoring. When there is a possibility of scoring, of your structure so you must have to provide the pile foundation in, in order to avoid the scoring phenomena occurring at your bottom of your, of your structure hope you guys understand that why we are providing the pile foundation and what are the basics of the pile foundation for digital engineering videos please subscribe our channel thank you for watching our video